What is up, bros? Me, Josh, here. In today's video, we are going over the Asashio version 2. Now, just keep in mind, this is currently work in progress, and things are subject to change, and I kind of hope they do because of what this ship kind of is, and it's getting the kind of this uh, reputation of being super troll. I've called it the Meme Lords, the new top meme ship in World of Warships. I don't think there's anything that's more trolly than this. I mean, we're getting to Kitakami-level troll with this ship in, and I am, I'm torn with this ship. And recently version two, uh, kind of what this is, is they have increased the, the torp detection on these, I think I believe from 7.2 to 7, or, or 0. 0.7 to 0. 0.9, so they've increased it. In the end, it doesn't matter, and they've actually pretty much buffed this, they've increased the reload, or, or I guess decrease, increased? Decrease, increase the rate of fire, decrease the reload. So they move that from nine seconds to seven seconds. So really, the version two of the Asashio is better. Now, keep in mind, I'm not gonna go over the entire thing of this ship because not really that much has changed. So I'll put a link down below to my original review, which is almost the exact same. So just imagine what I did there to now it's better. It can defend itself better. The guns are better um, because you can shoot faster and basically be a Kagero within the same torps. So this ship what is this ship in brief it is a kagero but instead of uh you know torpedoes or uh, you know a faster loading uh, torpedoes with torpedo consumable you can then have torpedo consumable and smoke on this ship and um you have deep deep water torps so if you remember for a small little time there the graf zeppelin had deep water torps the deepest of water torps where it could only hit battleships and cvs that's what this has so the ships you can um, attack are only battleships and CVs. So in this game, as you can see, we had five battleships, so those are the only ones you can do. So the thing is, with that, I'm torn. Because one, is this ship a blast to play? Yes. Two, it promotes terrible, terrible destroyer play. And what you're going to end up seeing is a lot of people kind of playing the ship not like I'm playing, and you know, this isn't an insane damage game, it's a decent damage game, we hit a decent amount of torps, um, but I'm not really showing off this crazy damage this thing could do, because it's nutty. I run torp acceleration, this thing comes with a base of 20 kilometer torps, deep water, so they only hit battleships and CVs, and a standard speed of 20 kilometers and 67 knots. Now I run torpedo acceleration, which means there's 72 knot torpedoes at 16 kilometers, that's the speed of Zao Torps. So their, uh, the change to the Torp detection, it does not matter. Stuff going that fast, no one has ever said, man, if only I could see those Zao Torps from farther away, I could have avoided that. No one's ever said that. So, um, and you'll see a little bit later in this game that I am just absolutely just destroy a ship that he, it was impossible for him to turn out. And um, so I like this ship, but it promotes gameplay that is awful because how many times have you seen a a destroyer um especially ign destroyers because they're very stealthy and they torp go all the way around and it was kind of funny because we actually saw one that same day basically do the same thing a shimakaze and um on islands of ice he went all the way around a cap and all the way around to the north side we spawned south side to then <laughs> try to torp the ships and we kind of lost the game because he spent the entire game chasing down battleships that's what this ship is going to promote. It's not going to promote people going into caps like I did, which is kind of the reason why I chose this game, because why would you? You can't torp destroyers. You're not going to outgun many destroyers. Um, the only thing, you, only thing you have is you have smoke, so you can bail, but <laughs> you can maybe, out, maybe do some damage to them. But why would you go into a cap? There's only a threat of you taking torps and you can't do anything back, especially cruisers. It promotes going around to the outside. It promotes doing that snipe. It promotes staying away from caps. Why would you go there? That's that's where the bad guys are that you can't really do anything about. So I don't know what to think of this ship. One, do I enjoy playing it? Yes, I think it's fantastic. But I think I'm going to play it a lot different than a lot of other people. I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys would play it kind of the right way of going in. As you can see, I'm going to spend almost the entire entire part of the entire game at BCAP. And I think a lot of people aren't going to do that. A lot of people are going to chase the damage. Because if you see this, right? If you look at this map right now, and let's make it a little bigger. There are only five ships I can do damage to. With torps, that is. So when I say do damage, I mean torps. One ship right here, 
there's no reason to go there. I have these battleships right here and the battleships in basically in this area. If I'm a destroyer, I might as well just roll here. But I my battleship's here, so I'm going to support them. I'm going to try to spot Torps. Right now, there is a, a Yugumo, which we know is on C, as he's spotted right now. There's an Akatsuki, which I will outspot, so that's why I'm chilling here. And I'm trying to keep my battleship safe, because I'll spot Torps first. As you can see, I'm kind of angled away. So if Torps come in, as well as keeping that uh, key I've spotted. But if I'm any person that's not me, I don't care about these battleships in the middle. If I'm smart, I'm actually going to rotate north and just stay up here the entire time. I would have completely avoided this cap. Why even go near a cap? That's when people know you're going to be. These torps are so fast, but you still want uh, you still want to surprise the enemy of doing that. That's why there's a lot of downtime here. I'm trying to play a good destroyer, good team play, which this thing doesn't promote. And I've I, a lot of warships recently has promoted, I would say, quote unquote, bad play. Royal Navy battleships. It promotes BB sniping and shooting HE at everything. And now we have this this Ebola spread of just pure battle battleships just shooting HE on non quote unquote HE lines. So that's kind of the tough part. Um, I don't like what this thing is going to probably make a lot of destroyer players do because if you have let's say a squad of three of these right three asashios playing together you're going to have zero ships not always but you're gonna have the choice the chances of an asashio pushing cap and the chances of a let's say a benson a lo yang um an akazuki a harakazi almost any other tier 8 destroyer uh going in even a kagero going into cap is going to be much less which i don't like we've had so many situations of of certain things in this game teaching you to play the game incorrectly and i feel like this game this ship is going to be there do i think they'll release the game the ship like this i still don't i still feel like it, it probably is too strong as it is um i think uh one they're they're ign torps so they hit really really hard two the detection is extremely low um now it is basically a kagero but i think then if anything they need to tone down probably the range and speed of these things because they're absolutely disgusting and now they might not be able to take down both of those because then it, why would you play it? But I think overall, and I'm kind of bummed that that clipped right there. Um, overall, I, I like this ship. It's fun. It's it's super trolly to play. I keep using the word troll, and um, I enjoy it. But I think I'm gonna. I think I play it like some of you guys would too. Play it differently than a lot of people would. But I don't like what maybe the majority of people will do this is I'll just chase the damage and then you're basically down a destroyer. Now, if you're getting getting the, the broadside of a battleship or getting behind the line, it could be super, super effective. But still, I don't know how I feel about this just going off. I don't know if it's if, if this style of play, what it promotes. A lot of people aren't liking Deepwater Torps currently. I think they're fine. Um, it, it, it's interesting, you know, but going against a destroyer, it's just not going to promote going to caps, which is something I think we need to kind of do and get back to maybe teaching some of the basics of uh, of this game. You know, getting battleships that aren't sniping. And what's it going to do? It's going to make battleships stay farther and farther away. Sniping battleships are the absolute worst, <laughs> and we've made it worse because of how much HE is going on. These deep water torps that are extremely fast, if, they know, if people are using 20Ks, and this is the example I was kind of talking about right here, is 72 kilometer torp 72 not torps at 16 kilometers this this leon actually plays this correctly the leon's relatively quick and it's kind of agile if these were normal torps let's say in a benson maybe even a kagero um he probably could have turned out here but with 72 not torps as you can see he's starting to make the turn and he basically like, gives up but um zero chance zero chance of dodging these he does stay on a very nice straight line and as you can see it before he can even do anything they're there in his face and that's a dead battleship so um and just like that you rack up 100k i mean it's a good ship <laughs> it's 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 really good it's really fun uh but uh is it maybe for the greater good for this kind of ship to not come out that's what i'm not sure you know i think the ship up tier is really well it pushes in um, it, it can spot really well. If played right, it can be very, very effective. It is kind of a downside when there aren't any battleships around. Let's say, like, the entire battleship core was kind of at A-cap this entire time. We kind of chilled at B-C-ish. Um, 
So that's kind of a, the downside is you can't do anything to cruisers. There are situations where I've had complete torp spreads go under a Moskva, which almost made me cry because it would 100 to 0 them. Um, so there is some downside to this because it, it, it's not going to be a play style for everybody. Um, but I still, I don't like, if there's, if there's a lot of these. It's going to push the battleship players farther and farther away, which is the last thing we need in this game um, to make the games get slower. Because, you know, if the battleships aren't supporting the cruisers, which aren't supporting the destroyers, then we are going backwards instead of forwards for hopefully play in this game. Um, but anyways, uh, still a decent little game right here, though. We're kind of smashing these guys and really, really good torts from Akatsuki as well. Um, I'm interested in what you guys kind of think on this ship and what are your thoughts on the As uh, Asashio. I think what they're going to end up doing, rumors are is this thing isn't finished. Um, I don't think it is. It's getting a lot of heat, both uh, through CCs and both through the uh, community. And I'm interested in what you guys kind of think of this. Is it is it worth putting out a ship that's fun? But like, <laughs> for a CC, I want the I want the the player base to get better and the game to get better and the fundamentals of this game to get better and stuff like that. And um, R.I.P. Richelieu. There's do probably need the second set but just in case i always do this i don't know if you guys do it but uh, maybe it's overkill but i mean what else am i gonna do damage to with torps because that's basically it so he's gone so we got two kills a few little torp hits and uh, we kind of smash these guys this thing is especially against if you go to like a high tier uh like a high battleship game you're just gonna stomp <laughs> pretty much and if you play it right you can of course out spot anything but like as you can see there a bunch of their ships kind of died way outside right dd's pushed way out apparently he just gave up fiji had to get farther and farther away but again if we're going to be pushing people farther and farther out because you know there are certain games where as a cruiser you are trying to support people but you don't have you don't have people pushing in you don't have battleship support what what's gonna happen you know that's 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 what I'm, i know they want to get the the play style faster so a nice little game like i said not massive damage just kind of want to talk about it and show um what the ship kind of has it's still extremely strong and i think they're going to change it but um let me know in the comments what you guys think of the assault show um is it worth putting out a ship that's fun that potentially potentially like jeopardizes um some play style you know, that promotes this bad play style, or do you think it just isn't really needed? Um, again, don't get me wrong, the ship is fun. If you get it, you'll probably enjoy it, and it's gonna do a ton of damage in a lot of games. But I'm worried about what the big picture is for this ship. And um, I'm torn, boys, I'm torn. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the Asashio version two, still work in progress, so things are subject to change, and I kinda hope they do. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys like this video. Remember, like, subscribe, I'll see you guys next time.